This week we are going to be starting our brand new series called Wonder Zone, where we are going to be looking at science and faith. Let's get started. Well, um, to start off, I have a question. Fire away. If you could have anything in the world, what would you have? Um, I would have a house that had its own swimming pool. Nice, nice. I think I would have unlimited pizza, barbecue chicken for the rest of my life. That does sound pretty good too. What would you have? Why don't you ask the people around you if you could have anything you want, what would you have? So, as part of our adventure, we have decided to test your wisdom a little bit. We are going to do an experiment, so let's cut to us outside. Okay, so for today's experiment, we are going to see what happens when you put mints in to Coke. Okay, so I want to know what your guesses are. Is your guess, guess number A, do you think it's going to mix together to like make a nice minty cokey drink for me? Is your guess, guess B, you think it's going to make an explosion of coke and mints? Or is your guess C, nothing's going to happen? What do you think? Okay, so I have my mints in my hand and let's put them into the coke and see what happens. Ready? Whoa! If you guessed B, it explodes everywhere. Well done, you were right.
the more I got to know his voice. Yes, that's a bit like science. Building up evidence and understanding over time. What did God say? Well, he made a surprising statement. He said, ask for anything you want and I will give it to you. Anything? Oh, imagine what you could get. A state-of-the-art laboratory, money to pay for research, a super-duper vending machine in the professor's parlour. So, what did you ask for? Wisdom. Because to be wise means having knowledge, experience and good judgement about what's right and wrong. What? Do you ask for wisdom? Not even a sports car or a speedboat. Nope. I have to rule over a big kingdom full of lots of people with lots of problems. The most important thing I need is to know things, to know what's right and what's wrong. I need wisdom. Wow, you know, that's like me. I like to know things, to discover new things, and be surprised by the world around me. I also need to know how to decide which things are good things to do and which are bad. And um, did God give you wisdom? Yes, he did. And do you know what? He promised to give me lots of money and a long life too. He really is the best. You can get that speedboat after all. Well, no. Sailing is not the most important thing on my to-do list. Not when I have a whole kingdom to rule. So you don't need a job as a lab assistant either then? I could do with someone with your wisdom. No time, my friend. I'm sure you'll get someone eventually. Bye! Bye, Your Majesty. Could you be George's next lab assistant? Do you love discovering new things? Doing experiments? Science and maths? Why not send your video in to kirstine at stmarieslondon.com and tell us why you would make a good lab assistant and we'll feature you in the next video. It's so great to hear that story that Solomon was able to ask God for anything he wanted and it could have been material and he asked for wisdom. Yeah, Solomon was a great guy and I'm just thinking back out to earlier on when we were talking about if you could have anything in the world, what would you have? And if you thought about asking for anything in the world that you were asking from God, would you still say that you want a swimming pool? As much as I love swimming, I think I would change it. I think I would like to be able to see God's love more in the world. Yeah, well that's really interesting, isn't it? Because I think with God, he cares about what's in our heart and our mind more than we care about our material things. So for Solomon, he was asked that question and he said that he wanted to be more wise. He could have asked for all of the money in the world, but no, he didn't ask for that. He asked for being more, more wise. And that's because that's what God cares for, our hearts and our minds. For our prayer activity this week, grab a small piece of paper or a post-it note and write down the thing that you want God to show you in your life. It might be wisdom, it might be love, all these things. Have a think about it and write it down.
you for joining us this week in our wonder of discovery. Make sure you join us next week when we're going to be looking at the wonders of the universe. See you later. Bye. Bye.